All right, well next up, we've got a quick video from Intel and then they'll be telling us about what they're working on these days in the land of OpenStack. At certain moments, the rules change. A choice confronts you. Stay the course and decline, or disrupt and accelerate. Andy Grove called these moments strategic inflection points and led Intel through several epic inflections. In a crucial transition, Intel shifted focus from its primary business, memory chips, to microprocessors. It was a wrenching experience filled with risk, but a timely choice that changed the world. Today, the emergence of data-rich cloud computing threatens to overwhelm the data center. Intel is responding with breakthrough technologies, silicon photonics for game-changing connection speed, and non-volatile memory for fast, vast data capacity. Risking current success to create future opportunity, embracing strategic inflection points. It's in Intel's DNA. Is it in yours? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Imad Susu. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. So um, today I want to talk to you about what I think is um, is an inflection point or um, how we are, I feel, at a crossroads in, uh, in our OpenStack project. So I want to talk about, uh, um, about this a little bit. Um, as, as all of us know, there are times when uh, faced with, with certain changes that we get one of two choices. We either act and, and end up flourishing or we just just don't do anything and most likely end up in decline. This is what Andy Grove at some point called it, you know, the two options at an inflection point, you either adapt uh, or, or you either die. And, and, it, and to us, it feels like we are in OpenStack at, at one of those moments, especially in a couple of areas. When you look at orchestration and scheduling, and probably equally important at the process, the development process that we use in OpenStack, that we are at this inflection point at a crossroads where we do need to make certain amount of change to, to continue to flourish in, in, in our uh, great project. So, um, so now imagine, uh, imagine how we would do or how you would do OpenStack just knowing everything that we know today, knowing that it's not only about VMs, that there are containers, that uh, there's, you know, bare metal, and, you know, how would you do things? And, and you know, uh, uh, and, and what is it that you would actually end up building, you know, if you, if you are just doing OpenStack from scratch, just knowing all the data that you know today. So at Intel, this is exactly what we did. So um, a, a handful of engineers, uh, got the assignment to, okay, you know, with, with little boundaries, it's the, you know, just call it an experiment with uh, no boundaries, you know, uh, no, none of the rules that are imposed, whether, you know, in the project or, or anywhere else, that to reimagine how this would look like. And, and, and as usual, the few engineers, just, you know, very small number, five or less, um, they went out and, you know, they spoke to customers, they, they were already part of the community, so they understood, you know, where the state of the technologies is. You know, they spoke to a lot of end users, so understood all the, the pain points and so on, and they ended up um, really coming with, uh, um, uh, with a, what is effectively a, a redesign and, uh, and the re-implementation of, uh, of the schedulers and, and few, uh, few key pieces of OpenStack, you know, done in Go, in the Go programming language. And, uh, and, and they went along, they wrote down these five criteria or these five 
you know, requirements or areas that they focus on that they've heard from everybody and they want it to really solve. And by the way, none of, us, none of this should be new to anyone. You know, all instances are equal or should be equal. So right now, today, we have three schedulers. We have Nova, Magnum, and Ironic, you know, uh, to manage containers, virtual machine, and, and bare metal. So, you know, why is there three? Um, same thing with built to scale, you know, uh, scale and performance, um, uh, you know, uh, upgrades, uh, deployment, uh, security, all of, all of these things that, that are fairly well understood and, you know, and really, you know, it, it took a bit of work just to step back and to do a complete re-implementation just to see what it would look like. And, and now I'm going to show it to you. So this is, um, I'm not as brave as, you know, others to do a live demo. So uh, it's a demo, uh, you know, video that we shot a few days ago. So uh, if we can play the video, please. Okay, so... Um, so in, in this video of the demo, it's, uh, we are, um, uh, we're launching first uh, 10,000 um, containers. Uh, this is using the rewritten uh, scheduler. And uh, so 10,000 uh, um, uh, Docker uh, containers that are running uh, Ubuntu. You see them, uh, um, uh, you know, getting uh, uh, run there. And now um, uh, uh, adding uh, 5,000 VMs. These VMs running uh, Fedora, and uh, now these are uh, VMs are running, and all of this is running on a on a 100 um, 100 uh, uh, node uh, cluster. So um, uh, so both uh, you know the 10,000 containers took took about 20 20 some seconds uh, uh, to run, and uh, with all the properties that uh, that I spoke about uh, earlier, and we'll see the as you will see the the 5,000 uh, VMs running on that same infrastructure will take around roughly 40 seconds. So in total, um, uh, in total, there is the 5,000 VMs and um, the 5,000 5, VMs and, and 10,000 containers all done in one minute or slightly less. And, and this is at, a, 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 as you all know, this is order magnitude better than everything that you, we can do today. And this is with just like thinking out of the box and so on. So um, our biggest challenge right now, obviously, is just we want that in. We want that in in OpenStack. So this is right now, we just opened it on GitHub. And we would like to see this in OpenStack. But this is where we also started running into, uh, into other problems that I think also we are at an inflection point and to really start to rethinking some of the aspects, especially when we take such hard positions. You know, uh, obviously one of the one of the things, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is that we have developed all of this in Go. Okay, this is you know, uh, we have um, what I would call a dogma of like, nope, everybody, everything must be in Python. Well, why? Why can't it be? Why can't we use uh, uh, the right tool and the right programming ma uh, 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 language for for the things that we want to do? And this this goes across a lot of aspects. Of, uh, of, uh, of trying to evolve uh, our community and our development mo model and development process so that we are able to, um, so we are able to use the right tools and, and, and the right processes uh, for the right, uh, for what we want to accomplish. So, um, so I wanna end, this is the, so the project is called Chow, it's on, it's on GitHub, and there's more information on Clear Linux, uh, uh, um, cleanlinux.org uh, uh, chow and uh, and that's really all I wanted to talk to you about. I just wanted you to keep an open mind and uh, let's uh, let's uh, do all what we can to continue uh, to keep uh, OpenStack flourishing. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you.